guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today's video is one that it's been requested for a while and i just never wanted to do it because i just don't feel like i'm an expert when it comes to hair if you look at some of my other videos you'll see i don't really style it much like i'm just very easy going with hair i wash it at night let it dry overnight and a lot of times i just kind of leave it as it is and then I look back at my videos and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I should have done something. Like, it is so messy looking sometimes. And so I never felt like an expert, but um, a lot of you have noticed that my hair is, that it looks more healthy, more shiny, stronger. And it really has been in the last few months, I would say like throughout this year like it just kind of kept getting better and better and i get to the point where it's probably the healthiest my earring got stuck on my shirt um it's probably the healthiest strongest and most shiny that it's ever been since i was a teenager <laughs> when i was a teenager i had really good hair like super strong so much of it and my mom still likes to remind me about how i ruined it when i started coloring it um when i got like to my senior year of high school and college i had bleached blonde hair i had red hair at one point i had blue hair like i had everything and it really kind of ruined it for me to where it's just it was never as good as it was before I started doing anything to it. But I have found a routine that really works for me. And if you have hair that's similar to mine, I really think it would help you as well if you are looking for just really good hair products that restore your hair, basically. Um, so my hair is long, as you can see. I mean, it honestly almost is down to my waist at this point. And um, it is pin straight. It is fine. It's very flat, like so flat that it's like I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> That's how it looks most of the time or how we used to look. Um, and it's also very oily, like someone dropped a KFC bucket on my head type of oily the day after I wash it already. And I also have psoriasis on my scalp. And so it's just a mix of a lot of things that I don't like about it. I used to dream of having curly hair when I was little. And I know if you have curly hair, you want it straight. If you have straight hair, you want it curly. And so like it's no one's ever satisfied, I feel like. Georgie has curly hair. My mom loves his hair color. She's like, I'm gonna take him to the salon with me and tell them to do what he has. So yeah, so that's my problem. So I need something that gives me volume, um, that makes, that keeps it strong. Okay, well, we are filming together. Um, I need something that keeps it strong because it is long, it therefore tends to break more often. If you have long hair, it's just more prone to breakage. But also products that are sensitive for my scalp because of psoriasis. So a lot of products, I can't just go out and buy a shampoo that my friend is using because I'll get red spots on my hair, they'll get flaky, they hurt. So it's just a... It's kind of hard to find the best products for me um, because there are so many concerns that I have to address. But I found a good mix and I have a lot of products here that I use almost every time I do my hair, almost every day. Then I have some tools as well. And um, these are just the products that I use every time. And then there are some products that I use like once in a while that I'm not even sharing because those are not something that's like that I must have. It's just something that I'm that I happen to be using right now. But the products I'll share with you right now are just like my ride or die. I will not go without them and as soon as they're done, I repurchase them, which is a real testament for how much you like a product. Like would you repurchase it the minute it runs out and all of these products I would. So let's go through them and I'll go through them in the order that I use them and then at the end I'll talk about the tools. So, shampoo. The shampoo that I've been using since August, I've used it in the past too and then I kind of stopped and I started using it in August again and I love it. And it's the Living Proof Full, and by mistake I grabbed the conditioner, but it's the Full Shampoo. And the conditioner, I don't care for it, I don't think it's like super good, but the shampoo, I love and the reason I love it is because it's sensitive enough for my scalp where it doesn't make it inflamed but also 
it gives me volume more so than any other shampoo so normally i wash my hair at night i let it dry overnight and a lot of shampoos kind of make it it almost seems like they weigh it down and then it just gets super super flat but the living proof full one it just i don't know what it does i don't know if it's maybe a little bit drying to wear the very root of my hair doesn't fall down it just kind of like is more lifted i'm not sure what it has in it but it just makes my hair a lot fuller uh the root is more lifted than it normally would be with any other shampoos that i use and i feel like right away i notice more volume which is what you want i mean the shampoo is called full so it should give you more volume but i've used so many in the past that promised that and didn't deliver this one really does um and it's sensitive enough for my hair it lathers super well to where you use a little bit of it and you get like a full lather for your entire hair you don't need too much of it like it really is really good and i've been loving it and i'm going to repurchase it the minute I run out, the conditioner is just okay. I don't think it's life-changing at all. However, the conditioner that is life-changing to me, and I've talked about it before, is the Oribe Serene Scalp Balancing Conditioner. This thing is incredible. I think it's like, I don't even know. I'm worried that not enough people know about it that have the same hair issues that I do because it truly changes my hair. So basically, I used to, first of all, I used to never use in-shower conditioner that you would wash out. I would only use one that you leave on because I felt like the ones you wash off don't really do anything. This proved me wrong. I apply it from the end all the way to my roots and I massage it into my scalp. Normally with conditioners, you don't do that sorry george you apply it like ear down it's mostly for your ends but this one you're supposed to apply it all the way to your scalp and it first of all it makes my hair super soft like baby soft but also it really helps my scalp so if you have dandruff if you have psoriasis if your scalp just gets itchy because it's winter and it's cold and the weather like makes your hair itchy makes your head itchy this one truly it like moisturizes the skin on your scalp without weighing down your hair without making it more oily it doesn't affect the hair other than making it soft but it just is so good for the scalp like it feels so calming as if i put like lavender oil on it or something way less itchy way less red and my hair is just super super soft so i love this thing I've gone through like five of them by now. Now, when I get out of the shower, there's a few things that I use. So I use um, a leave-in conditioner slash detangler. And I always use that because my hair is super long. And so when I dry it, uh, when I try to brush it, it's just, I just need some help brushing it because it gets tangled. And the two that I use that I love, uh, one of them is the Oribe Run-Through Detangling detangling primer and this one detangles your hair so much you can spray it in your hair go in with just a regular brush and the brush is just gonna like just come straight through without any tangles without anything and you can use this from your roots to the bottom of your hair and it's not going to weigh it down it's not going to make it oily or anything like that i know there's some leave-in products that if you use it on your roots they just weigh down your hair and they make it oily and they leave the product on it and you feel it it's just like i just don't like those um this one once you use it and your hair dries you don't feel anything it's like you didn't use anything at all there's no residue or anything like that i'm basically done with it i'm down to here um and it's really good and oribe just overall smells amazing i just love this product and i have to buy a new one and another one that i just started using um about a month ago or so ooh, and I really, really like is the In Common Magic Mist. And it says Universal Elixir Protects, Straightens, and Hydrates. And this is from the brand In Common. It's created by a hairstylist, Georgie. He always has to lick his wiener when I'm doing videos. Stop it. What? <laughs> 
Oh, you're so cute. It does everything. It hydrates your hair. It makes it stronger. It makes it easy to brush out. It protects it from the heat. Like it's just an all-in-one type of a product. I bought it based on an Instagram recommendation from Amber Lancaster. And this smells like the Lilabo 33 perfume. It's Santal 33. It has that Santal smell but it, it's just really good like it smells so yummy you smell it in your hair all day long but it's not overwhelming and i love the bottle it's super hard it's not plasticky feeling at all and the spray is amazing it comes out in the finest mist it almost comes out like a face mist which is very rare with hair products and i drench my hair in it and you also don't feel it at all in your hair the next day. I've used it on dry hair. It's better on wet, but you can use it on dry and it doesn't weigh it down. It doesn't leave a residue, none of that. It is so good. And um, and yeah, so this was my first purchase of this product. Everything else I've bought, I've bought multiple times, but I will repurchase it when I'm done with it. So I don't usually blow dry my hair unless I have an event or unless I just have extra time in the morning or I just wanted to look <clears throat> I just wanted to look a little bit better and I'll show you the tools that I use. But if I do blow dry it, um, sometimes I'll just take a blow dryer for like literally two minutes and just dry my roots. And then I'll use the Oribe Maximista spray. And what it does is it coats your roots. So when you dry it, they dry kind of standing up and it immediately gives you a ton of volume. It just like lifts them up as you're drying it. This not only gives you volume, but also makes my hair get less oily faster. Wait, get less oil, get oily slower. So I can go more days between washing it when I use this. It is excellent. I love it so much. I'm like this much done with it. Um, and every single time I use a blow dryer, I use this. So whether you use a regular blow, blow dryer or you're giving yourself a blowout, that is a really good product to use. And then I have two oils that I use either one or the other every single day in my hair in between washes on days that I don't wash it at all. Like no matter if I'm washing it or not, I'm going to use one of the two oils. And the first one is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. I'm done with almost like with like a third of it and you only need literally three drops. That's all you need and you apply it on your ends. I have it in today and you can see it even makes your hair more shiny and what it does is it makes your ends so much stronger I feel like. Um, it doesn't fix um, split ends because once it's split they're split you can't fix them but it definitely makes them a lot less noticeable and it prevents more split ends from happening so I love this and then another oil that I love is the Gizu honey infused one and this is my I want to say like my fourth one I love this thing this I use an entire almost like a fistful of it and it never feels heavy it never weighs down my hair. I got all my friends turned on to this. I just love this thing. And basically, I apply it everywhere except for my very, very roots. But I'll apply it like from here down. And it just makes your hair stronger, shinier, um, more silky, smoother. It like tames any flyaways, anything like that. It's so good for it. And neither one of these two feels like you put oil in your hair once it kind of dries you feel nothing except for the benefits that it gives you now the dry shampoos that i love i have two the briogeo scalp revival charcoal and biotin dry shampoo i used it last night i'm on my third day hair and basically it's a powder and i've talked about it many times i'm sure if you've been here you've heard me talk about it it comes out like this like a little puff and when you apply it to your hair i apply it at night which is how i apply every dry shampoo ever and it absorbs overnight and so in the morning you no longer see like that white residue it completely absorbs you feel nothing it doesn't leave any kind of like tackiness or stickiness or anything that a lot of dry shampoos do um, because it's such a fine powder like there's nothing else to it 
and so you don't feel it it's like as if you use nothing except that your hair is no longer oily i love this and then if, if i use a canned one i like the living proof one and i also like the um oh my god i forgot the brand the charcoal one that i've talked about so many times i love that one but that one is like super strong it's like if you are completely oily that will help you but i don't really i haven't used that one much because i work from home most of the time and i just don't need anything super strong but this one is really good um because it's light the scent is very fresh and light and it's very it's like um i'm trying to think of like how to describe it it's kind of like a canned version of this where you don't really feel it you don't really feel it in your hair you don't see it um, it absorbs completely and it still gives you the benefits without leaving a lot of residue on your hair. You do feel this in your hair a little bit more than you do this um, because it does come in an aerosol form and it just has like more ingredients, I think. But um, it's still very light and it feels super fresh and clean. Now, moving on, this is the last product before I get to the tools. So if you want volume in your hair, I used to use... I would either leave my hair flat or if I wanted volume, I would tease the very root of it with like the teasing brush. And I noticed that first of all, it would rip my hair out sometimes. Like it just wasn't good for your hair. And also it was really hard to brush out and I would just like rip my hair out trying to brush it. So now I don't do that anymore. I don't tease my hair unless it's a big event and I just, I need my hair to look super good and really big. But now I use the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. I got this in a set, um, I think during the Nordstrom sale, the anniversary sale. And basically what you do with this, you can put it on your roots, you can put it on the bottom of your hair, like wherever you want. You spray it into your hair. Like you literally just like spray it into your hair and you just go like this. And it creates a volume. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is that is the smell. It smells kind of like glue. I don't really know. It's not the typical living proof fresh smell. It's something else and I don't like it. That's the only thing, but it does create a ton of volume and you don't need to tease your hair. You don't need to do any of that. If you use this along with this, like you have enough volume to where you really don't need anything else. And now moving on to the tools. So I have three. The first thing is I brush my hair with this every time I brush it. I don't go in with an actual brush until I go through it with this comb first. And the reason for that is that it's really wide, like the teeth are kind of far apart. And so when you brush it, it's not going to tug on your hair and rip it, just in case you have a knot somewhere. If you use a brush, it's just gonna rip it out. If you use this, it's going to be way easier to brush it out before you go in with a brush. So I use this every single time on wet hair. Now, if I just want to dry my hair a little bit at the roots, just to lift it up, like with the Oribe Maximista spray, I'll just use a regular any hair dryer and I'll just dry the roots. But if I want to dry it and like and give myself a blowout, which I rarely ever do, maybe once every like three months, I would use the Revlon one, the Revlon uh, round brush that also doubles as a hair dryer. And what you do is you literally like take, take like sections of your hair and you dry it upwards and it, it gives you so much volume and it also can curl the bottoms a little bit. Like it gives you a blowout at home basically and this is on sale right now i did a gift guide this morning i found it for under 30 dollars so i'll link it below this is really good but i only really use it on the roots because i feel like if you used it on like throughout the length of your hair especially if you use it very often i don't think it would be very healthy for your hair because it does get pretty hot and so i usually just use it on my roots just to lift it up and sometimes on the bottoms but not very often and then the last product is a curling iron and i use this t3 one this is an inch and a quarter i wish that i got the one inch instead i think it would just be better at creating lasting waves this one i used it this morning it basically once i brush out my hair after i use it 
there's almost no waves at all and so I think the one inch would have been better but what I do with this is even if I don't need my hair to be curly but I just wanted to like let's say it's very frizzy or it's just kind of looking messy and I want to smooth it out and give it a little bit of a shape without actually making it super curly and without making it super done I'll use this and I'll just smooth it out and make it look more presentable as you can see now um but it doesn't really create lasting curls for me because my hair almost never stays curly no matter what I use this is just kind of to make it look almost a little bit like a blowout and I would definitely if you do use a curling iron if that's something you're going to use a lot which is this is basically what I use every time I want my hair to look a little bit more presentable. Invest in a better quality one. That's just my personal opinion because if you are going to use it a lot, it's just better to invest and get something that's going to be a little bit healthier for your hair, just a little bit more high-end. And I do want to get the, um, oh gosh, the Dyson one at some point too, like their air drying set. Uh, but for now, I just use this. And that's it for all the hair products that I use that I love. I hope this was helpful. If you need some good products for your hair, if your hair is similar to mine. Another thing, which I forgot to mention, when I get a haircut, what really kind of helped my hair feel fuller is I get it one length. I used to get layers and I don't really get layers anymore except for in the front of my face. But in the back, I do it all one length and it makes it thicker all the way to the bottom too. So, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found all this helpful and I'll see you soon. Bye.